This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Here's what I do know. Tonight, Dark Side of the Ring is back on Vice. It's something that you contributed with. I think Eric Bischoff did as well. Episode one is Brian Pillman, two-parter. Uh, I've been uh, fortunate enough to see it. And my goodness, they have done another fantastic job this time telling Brian Pillman's story. Uh, what do you expect to see tonight? I know you had a big role in this. You know, I haven't seen any of the advanced copies. <clears throat> I will see what, uh, what the audience sees and not before, but, uh, I kind of like it that way. It's kind of like my philosophy of, of calling wrestling matches. I don't need to know every in and out, every dot of I across of a T. I'd like to see it just happen and occur. So don't tell me more than you really perceive I need to know that situation. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I don't, I don't know what to expect. It's a compelling subject because Brian Pillman was a very compelling, uh, individual. Yes. You know, he, he became my friend and I helped bring him in to WCW and I, uh, you know, tried to manage him, uh, in that. When he came to WWE, which was, which was challenging. Uh, that was after Brian, his, his Humvee accident and his ankle was fused. I think he realized that, uh, things were coming to an end from an in ring perspective, which just did not fit him well. So we'll, I'm sure they're going to talk about that. It should be a hell of a show. Very compelling because it was all real and, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever encountered anybody quite like Brian Pillman in my tenure in the wrestling business. Yeah. Uh, he had, uh, he had it and he had courage and he wanted to be a non-traditionalist and carve a new path. And by and large, he did that, but he sure as hell didn't want to be, uh, getting out of the ring when he did. So he, and then becoming an announcer or whatever else role might be there. Uh, I just thought it could be like when he, when he, we found out how badly he was hurt. Uh, I think he could have been the next Jesse Ventura, uh, Jerry Lawler type color guy, but, uh, and with an edge and with a more modern presentation, but boy, he, he looked at that as almost insulting. So it should be a hell of a show. Quite frankly, I'm very much looking forward to it. I have my DVR set to record all those shows. Uh, I normally watch them live, but I certainly don't want to miss one. So it's probably not a bad idea to back up your DVR with, uh, dark side and enjoy it. Those kids have done a great job of editing and searching out content, interviewing people that, uh, are important to te the telling of the story. So it's good. And you guys have done a good job. I like those, uh, what do you call the little, uh, where well, you're sitting there with the, the two, our two buddies. Uh, yeah, uh, dark side of the ring, confidential, confidential. Yeah. So, uh, I like that. Those are, are interesting. They're interesting. Well, if you haven't already, uh, go subscribe tonight. Set your DVR. It's dark side of the ring and it's Brian Pillman. It's two hours and it's starting tonight on vice. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.